Michigan, recreational marijuana is legal, and so are marijuana products like edibles. They can easily be mistaken for regular treats like chocolate bars, brownies, cookies, and even gummy bears. And if you're not careful, they can end up in the hands of kids. And that's exactly what's happening. The Michigan Poison Center at Wayne State University School of Medicine is seeing a dramatic increase in cases of children consuming edible marijuana products, particularly since recreational marijuana sales began at the end of 2019. Between last August, so August 2019 to August 2020, we had about 130 cases reported to us. Uh, since August 2020 onwards till now, it's about already been close to 200 cases. So. And we're not even out of August yet, so we no doubtedly think that the number's gonna go up. Varun Vora is the director and clinical toxicologist at Michigan Poison Center. He says there are a couple of reasons for this trend. Uh, increased access, I think for sure. Um, decriminalization or legalization, recreational use has been more commonplace clearly in, in the state. And I think a lot of times with edibles, especially they're packaged in a certain way that could be attractive to kids. Some edibles even look like regular snacks you can find at the grocery store, like Sour Patch Kids, Pop-Tarts, and Oreos. The attractive nature of them and the marketing um, can be quite enticing for curious children. So um, I think streamlining packaging and making them not as quote unquote attractive to, to young children uh, would go a long way in helping to mitigate this. Common symptoms for kids under the age of 12 include lethargy, confusion, drowsiness, uncoordinated movements, nausea, and muscle weakness. More severe symptoms include low heart and blood pressure, tremors, hallucinations, or even a coma. He says cases typically resolve themselves with supportive care, but they do see overdoses with young kids. Because it doesn't take a lot for them to, to hit that threshold or that quote unquote toxic threshold. Amanda Feda is a mother of three. She's also the founder and owner of Nuvita, a cannabis company in Lansing and an advocate for the cannabis plant. She says hearing about the increase in cases concerns her. It means that the consumers need to be more smart with how they're storing their products. Feda enjoys eating edibles and is open, honest, and careful with the products when it comes to her children. Um, my oldest daughter, who's 13, um, we have an age-appropriate conversation about it. She knows about my company. She knows that cannabis